<laughs> Hello guys, how's it going? Matchy Haz and welcome back to the channel and to some more Final Fantasy 16. So yes, the final DLC has arrived, the Rising Tide. So we are definitely going to give this a whirl. We uh, completed Echoes of the Fallen quite some months ago. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it was a little short, not gonna lie. But... I hope with this rising tide they've added a lot more to it so uh, I still have my save file from when we uh, finished it last time so let's get to it shall we new quest line rising times but soon. ah okay okay let's get to it New item is available for redemption. Okay, okay, piggly perky. Side having to manually adjust your iconics set each time in different abilities. Uh, yeah. Well, I think I've got all of them maxed out anyway. No, it's there. Plus got the Omega Weapon. Sure, got it maxed out, yep. Um, yeah, got that mastered. Mustard. Yeah, it's mustard. Right, so, um, claim. Claim and claim. Nice. Let's make sure the settings are sorted. Uh, yes. Yes. Appearance. But yeah, I've got my classic Buster Sword. But yeah, obviously I've got the Omega Weapon, but I've got the uh, Buster Sword skin for it. So, yeah. Happy with that. <clears throat> Away. Torn from the heavens. Oh, I love. 
As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. <sighs> oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Clive. Karen. If you're going to buy something, be quick about it. You're going to buy something, be quick about it. Rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Yeah, okay, I think I've got them all now. Yes. Finished, are you? Ah, Actually. it's a dangerous world out there. Finished, are you? Yeah. Sound of silence. Oh, <coughs> right -o. Go there first. <clears throat> oh, I Josh. All is well, I trust. Yeah. Shall we then? All is well. I wanted to give you something for the kindness you showed my mentor. Oh, thank you. What's this? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed. Entire. Try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study, but he's got a long way to go yet. 
I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Besides, who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Who oh, indeed? Thanks. All right. Medicine chest. Okay. There's something about it. Oh, do Bengal. Where have you been? <coughs> Change your profile, I see as well. Medicine chest. I've read all them, I think, haven't I? Heed the mysterious request. Okay. The Vith and the Lost. But why now? After all this time. Why what now? <clears throat> why what now? Oh, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Abscesses now. Right then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. Hope he's all right now. I see we're all here. So, what is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan. So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing to bear upon the realm. That's weird. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new dominance born, but over a century? Should the dominant of water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again. Just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I'm coming with you. As am I. Thank you.
Both of you. And Otto? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Didn't fancy coming anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Email is invalid. I shall leave the invincible in your capable hands. Right or quest accepted. You can see him. Trophy. No, no, it's not located with that. Bleh. If you wish to restore main scenario objectives, you can do so in the journal. Alright. Okay. Clive. Viv. How may I help you today? Thus ends today's lesson. Wow. Better, let's go. Oh yeah, that's the final battle, isn't it? Say so the game says before the final battle. Yeah. Let's go. Layla. To the veil it is then. Welcome. Welcome, you slay. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. An excellent choice. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I'm all right. Excellent choice. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. I'll be here if you need me. I'll be here if you need me. Need more of those special elixirs. Good. Good. La 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 la. Looks like you've got thirst. But enough talk. How about we fancy a peek behind the veil, my lord? <gasps> oh, yes, please. I'm looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one. So. Will your friends be joining in? Or just watching? <laughs> uh, we're not here for your services. Yeah. We simply want to talk. Me, you and Jill. The time is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I'm glad you're okay too, Bengal. Yeah, we did have to bust a sword in the oh, last DLC. Sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. <laughs> Among other things. Look, I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? A location north of town on the shore of Isla Feist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all. 
and nothing else. Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. <gasps> okay. Make for the coastline. Does anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. I haven't seen any of those beastly blue-eyed things. The beastly bastards. Do be careful. Final Fantasy, cool game. Uh. I we're playing the final DLC for this game. Such a shame. Ooh, fight! We're not alone. What are Ah, you bastard. Well, the tent is where Layla said it would be. Yes, but who awaits us inside? No one there. Surprised. <laughs> A boat. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. Continue the search. The embers are still warm. So you're Sid. JK. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula, tributary of Mesidia, final haven of the Morts of Water. The Morts of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, 
We are mm. still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. <laughs> that wave out there. What do you know of it? The surge. Say. Only that it's been there a long time. Since the fall of Drake's Eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. So in other words, you know nothing. <laughs> Not that I'll hold it against you. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to? Rescue him. Yes. You see, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? <sighs> what exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? I was going to go have what a shower, but you know. He committed <clears throat> the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way. Let's go. Rock the boat, the rock the boat, baby. Ah, you should. You will enjoy it. Oh. Well, apart from the um, the card game. <laughs> That was the only downside for me, that. <clears throat> All right, you might want to hold on to something. We're coming up on the wall, and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. But don't take my word for it. Watch. I'm blind. Oh, that was worse than a slug of Bacchus wine. Clive, the sky. I don't it's like it. Purpose. How is that possible? You do know what a glamour is, don't you? Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. Mm -hmm. The rising tide! Ow, ow.
<sighs> and that concludes our little voyage. We're here. <clears throat> It's a long slog to the village, and a hard one. Well, thank you. I uh, hope you're up for a climb. God, it's God, why does it have to be all the way up there? think we'd arrived, did you? <laughs> the village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. <laughs> of course it is. Trophy! Of course it is. Watch yourself, Sid. This path can be treacherous, if not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula. Damn, look at that waterfall. No such aliases. Is that so, Lord Margrace? Yeah. It's all the same to me. Damn, boy! Yeah, boy! Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> Damn, just look at that. Fight time. I was wondering when they'd pick up our scent. Stand back. We'll handle this. Oh, will you now? Shall I keep my axe and spells to myself then? <laughs> Crystals. All right, calm down. Since when did a bearer ever need crystals? But then, where is your brand? Waiting for me in Sunbreak, if I ever get careless. Mm. <laughs> then it's in for a long wait. I've got the brand on my ass. It's kind of a turn on, you know. Get it, boy. Who's your good boy, Yeshua? We're almost at the summit. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Mm -hmm.
few have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends, to Mesidia. It's been a long time since I saw the North looking so... so... Alive. How I'm is... sure you have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey, and I expect we could all do with a rest. Our humble village is only a short way from here, if you'd care to accompany me. Let's get ourselves in front of a fire, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. And I'll get my guitar and we'll sing Kumbaya. Just bear with me, I'm just pouring myself an iron brew because it's been one heck of a trek. It's beautiful, Shula. And we aim to keep it that way. Sha la 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 I want to get a better view, man. Look at that, look at that boy. What a ninja turtles. Don't mind me. Oh, I want to get through there. Uh -oh. Are those stones glowing? That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Steer well clear. Ah, uh, don't touch it. Ah, uh, don't touch it. Ah, uh, was an act of rage. One wonders what prompted it. Mm. Just look at it. Look at it. We've been staring at that from a distance for God knows how long. <laughs> kick it. I can find it. Kick it.
Could we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north? In clear view of the bear. But I wanted to show you the view. Ain't it pretty? <laughs> oh, you're off already. Oh. Might be to do with that bloody cold you've got, probably. I want to see what's down here. Ah, uh, it's all right. No worries, mate. Damn, let's look at that water. I take it easy, bro. <laughs> I'll do. Does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! Tributary! Ooh! Haven. Ooh, I could live there. Sounds like a nice place to live. Outsiders? Well, I never. Look at the size of that dog. All right, now. Back to your duties. <clears throat> You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors. Or any. Truth be told. <laughs> then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary. Like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. <laughs> but how did your people chance to settle here in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell, and the Blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside, once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Right, all. We'll do just that. <laughs> uh -oh. Morning. That will be them then. Morning. Don't look like much if you ask me. Morning. How dare you? <laughs> it's 
So anything to kick. Any crates to kick. Mom, I want to play with the others. Well, you should have thought about that before making such a mess. <laughs> Suddenly, there were curls everywhere I looked. I don't look like there's anything to do yet. It's pale as ghosts. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us and Walius. Walius. This man, Walius. Is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. Oh, okay. A baby. Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. Mm. I'm sorry. Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. <clears throat> Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately, but instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village. See, animal senses anything. hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Show you exactly what he has to endure. Okay. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. Okay, thank you. That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free They'll to They'll look like the children of the corn. <laughs> and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Good tide. Our storehouse lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Fair enough. My lord. My name is Delina. By way of example, 
As I'm sure you're aware. The secret of the spell itself. So they built the cairns, and thus we hid ourselves away. Our story began. The narrow coast of the southern ash. After the fall of Drake's Horn. I bid you good tide. Good tide, good tide. Ooh, some quests. Let's do the quests. Sid! Hi! You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about? I wonder if you could help me. With what exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making. So I wondered if you might collect some for me and <coughs> give them to him. Uh, would this gift not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't, for reasons I can't go into. Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. <laughs> go on, then. Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow <clears throat> around the front. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. Ooh. I'm not arguing. Child must be... Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werda wants you to bless her better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on, then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavart may be, but if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. The mirrors. My people believe they frighten off trespassing demons by showing them the evil in their hearts. Would you care to take a look? Yeah, imagine I'm having that in your back garden. Be nice. <laughs> ah, welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. <laughs> it is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Well, that's 
two basketfuls. As you see this, okay. Time to visit Pavat. Nah, it's only there. What do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. I know you're there. Mm -hmm. H who? Me? <laughs> <clears throat> Would either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a soldier and him, being the only smith in the village, it'd be a shame if he couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because How you doing, Cosmo? I'm with all the orders you lot dumped on me. <clears throat> I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do, with or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. Bit early to tell, yeah. So if there's out Bit early need, to tell. Bring us the materials, all right? All right. But this location right. is nice. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. Ooh. Remind us where we come from, like. As moats of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern too was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill. I'm blue, dabba dee, dabble die, dabba dee, dabble die. With the strength of Leviathan <laughs> running through it. And no matter how that. If you ever hear someone bent, saying that they never sung along to that song, course. they are lying. The flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. I will. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Wasn't it just. Namaste. It is a classic. Oh, <clears throat> just imagine just coming down here, parking the chair here, and just chilling, watching the water flow. I'd love to have this in my back garden. So pretty. Jugo bubble boy. Jugo bubble. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. Nah, man's bad. Nah. Till next time, then. Catch you. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, I'll have her hide.
hide when she gets back. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was leagues away. Too much information there, lad, but you know. If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Not that would fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. Thank you. I understand. Saying that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, right. She's got a hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little Rills decided to make herself scarce. Ah, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? <laughs> you wouldn't mind? Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah. A free spirit, is she? Mm -hmm. Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still. Especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders! You should have seen a little eyes light up. Mm. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive, she'd have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. <laughs> Try not to worry. Ruka. Excuse me. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka. I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path Why are you, man? Down the river. Nice little spot, that. Safe oh, just like bend it. down there. The piece of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. No doubt we'll be monsters there, uh, though, now that we're here. There's always trouble when we go somewhere. This must be the path. Oi. They're not here either. <gasps> it's you! I've been looking everywhere for you. You must be Rooker. You know my name? Can you lot read minds? <laughs> <laughs> Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. Thank you well, for bringing her okay, home. Baby. And sorry for the trouble. Namaste. It was a pleasure. Daddy, did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities, they call them. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? 
Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones you've ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, <coughs> we'll make do with what we've got. Including what the old northern has left us. Yes. You built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Uh, which explains why you need Gil. Aye. Aye. Now Rook is back. Why I man? should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Quest complete. Haven store is now available. Depends what you have for sale. It's a pity nothing but the foundations were left standing. A whole storehouse made of stone would make it a lot easier to keep our supplies in good nick. <coughs> Thanks for bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks. Like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, was the route you wanted? Was the route you wanted? This, this is all we have. Mm. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Yes, please. May it serve you well. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Yes, of course I do. Anything else? This is all we can pay. That's fine. Then I bid you good tide. Good tide. Will you be back soon? You've still got to tell me everything else about the outside world. What is it you want? I don't know. Till next time, then. Till next time, boy. I can't go that way. <laughs> Can we go? I'm not going to the field. God damn it, we can't. The scarecrows of Vivi. Just you stay away from that temple. I give you my brain. <sighs> That's it. Look who was 
things are as pale as ghosts. As pale as ghosts, man. Off to the surge, are you? Well, just you stay close to the tributary. We don't want you getting lost in the forest. Wrong button. <clears throat> Make your way There's to the surge. Just up ahead. Ships, but are we not still leagues from the shore? <laughs> Tra la 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 la. Ninja. Oh. Assuming we might have to go through here at some point. <clears throat> the quickest route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask? Yeah. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get. How about no? I don't want to explore if it will let me. No, okay. Fine, fine, we'll go your way. Sharp fangs. Oh, hello. Whoa, I still <coughs> haven't mended the bridge. The and I never bloody well let people don't leave me to my work. <laughs> Obviously, you must mend it because that's over there. We won't find Walius this way. 
The sea lies behind us. Hello. Just let me grab this first, then I'll fight you. Damn it, we have to trek all the way back. Tomberries! Foul creatures consumed by their hatred for everyone and everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. the sea it's not far now well I'm gonna look down here first
course. Da, 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 da. Follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the Cape. You don't want to go down there. Trust me. Do I even want to ask why? Damn, stop it. Start it. You start it. Might I inquire about the ray of light? It's what prevents the surge from being reclaimed by the sea. And Walius by his people.
Do 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 do. Bleiben. Kit. You said before that the child is bound within the surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed and the wave's origin. All right. We won't be the first domino <clears throat> we've met at the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, that's fancy. <clears throat> I mean, if we undo that, then that's a giant wave and it's just going to wreak havoc. <laughs> it's not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius' descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. To show him that he isn't alone and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. The forest okay. grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moons.
Let's go then. Does the light point the way to the child? It does indeed. Look at all the droplets of water mm. suspended in midair. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... it's not right. No, it's not. Damn. Oh, we're going to be screwed if that gets unleashed. Forget my first priming. The fear. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon? I tell you, you were a madman. <coughs> it's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. I'll prove it. Oh. It isn't without his risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things end well, and I've seen <coughs> things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Yeah, it's up to you, love. Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. <laughs> Here we go. Don't be afraid, little one. Let me bear the weight. Uh -oh. Pew pew. It's going to be all right. It 
sit down. I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. But something's wrong. Uh oh. Fight. He wasn't just afraid. He was angry. All right. Let's see what you've given me. Okay. Like a machine gun. Everyone, all right. He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time, but he knew we were here. How? I, I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walius. I will make this right. Goo goo ga ga. Subtitles, you bloody better. Trophy! <clears throat> so, part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good. Because I still have need of your strength. 
If you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Of course. Better. Leviathan Shattered. Right, what do we have? Ooh, Tsunami. Pew, pew, pew. So I like and close well. Look, the tree is back. Do you think this is the tree is Child. <laughs> tell me what the fuck is going on. To understand the spell which binds Wallius, you must first know who we are and what drove my forebears to commit such an atrocity. This tapestry is our story, the one that brought us here. After generations of wandering, my people sought refuge in Northeastern Storm some hundred and seventy <coughs> years ago. But in exchange for our safety, the I was going to say, what have we done? <laughs> demanded we renounce our faith and branded us heretics. From Love you too, Cosmo. To be exterminated <coughs> as a lesson to others. 
And so was it chronicled in the imperial history. Go hug. For anything less would have made the church seem weak. Yet a handful survived. The few who did fled north and west. And in doing so, discovered two things that would forever shape mm -hmm. our fates. The first was an old legend revealing how to make your very own mother crystal. You did. You did. What, what the? What have yes. I done? Yet it gave them new hope. <clears throat> our, false. our ancestors convinced themselves that they could recreate the divine if they could only find a strong enough heart. A living being capable of channeling torrents of ether. And the heavens provided. A dominant warriors. They had stumbled Don't across a nostrum in an ancient ruin, which they believed could provoke a sudden outpouring of a creature's ether. They meant to enrage his icon. <sighs> Unboxing videos. Leviathan oh, excuse would have him, destroyed what? everything had our people not made their second important discovery. A means to stop time itself. Where did they find that? Unboxings, reactions. The had no such magic, so they game. Used them. When our ancestors first arrived, the <clears> land was uninhabited. <throat> Save for an old witch who lived on the highest peak. I still do the odd one now and then. Her body had been consumed by the curse, a cruel payment for her long years of service to the Northern Thanes. So desperate were they to prevent the fall of Drake's eye, they'd forced her to devise a spell to stop time. But Drake's eye did fall. It did. When she finally perfected the necessary magics, it was already too late. So... As punishment for her failure, the Thanes exiled her to this forsaken place <laughs> to live out the few days she had left. Knowing her suffering, our ancestors cared for her as best they could, and in return, she gifted them her spell. That even though she should die, her legacy might live on. 31. So armed with both the knowledge of the ancients and the secrets of time, our ancestors settled upon an ambitious plan. They would create a I know I probably don't look it, but you know, yeah, I am. And <laughs> that it might endure for all eternity. Thus would our people's wandering, our suffering, finally end. <clears throat> and prosperity visit us once more. 1985. And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. A small price to pay. Or so they believed. Another victim of man's blind reliance on the mother crystals. So we know the seal source. And yeah. break it and restore the flow of time. I don't know when the aliens came out, to be honest with you. Right on top of the cliffs to the west. Inside lie the ruins of an old temple. It was there that the witch built the Vare, a conduit. Oh yeah, that the temple. Yeah, we've her been there. Ether into the surge. But it's been a long time since anyone said. Well, you went far off. Now <clears throat> there are others who claim it as their own. Another classic, aliens. It may be best if one of us stays behind. You think the village could be in danger? Yes. We saw the ether flow from Wallius in all directions, but only encountered a single familiar. There will be more. And should even one make its way here, I doubt the walls could hold it back for long. Then I shall stay. The Phoenix will see your people safe, tributary. You have my thanks. Very well. We should depart at once. First two in Resurrection. Yeah, Resurrection weren't too bad. Better, better one out of the uh, Alien 3, definitely. I really do hope the new Alien one will be good. What's it called? Rumbulus or something? It looks pretty cool, that one. Concerning it's by the same guy who um, 
directed Don't Breathe. I enjoyed that film. It was a good film. Though. My lord, may I yeah. speak with you a moment? We go on then, laddie. There's a matter with which I would beg your aid. Of course, what is it? Please, not so loud. Something serious then? Why? Yes. I think we might have company. I was passing by the low gate when I saw a figure moving among the trees up on the cloak. At first I thought it must have been you or your brother, so I didn't say anything, but... But the more I think about it, the more certain I am that the figure looked... familiar. Then you're sure it wasn't one of the other villagers? <laughs> yeah, Well, they are just NPCs, that as well. it was someone from outside the wall. <clears throat> he has found his way inside. Of course, it could just be my imagination playing tricks on me. I only caught a fleeting glimpse, and it might have been you or your brother. But if it is who I think it is, we cannot allow him to leave now that he mm. knows we're here. Would you go and see? Oh, he won't try to hurt you, believe me. Given what lurks in the forest, the only one likely to get hurt is him. Go on then. Very well. Whether the man you saw is who you believe him to be or not, we need to know. It may yet be someone else entirely. Someone who means your people or my people harm. Perhaps. Just promise me that if you do find someone up there. <clears throat> yeah, the environment's so amazing. I won't draw my sword unless I need to. Thank you. Yamilla, this man you saw, might he be the customer? I believe the, the people who made this one did um, <clears throat> Final Fantasy XIV, I think. Customer. That was the online one, so it might have, might, they might have used the same engine. Let's go. If we pick too many of the flowers, there won't be enough. Tra la la la. Search for the intruder on the cloak. Let's go then. Let's just grab this first. Thank you. A bottle. <laughs> Message in Perfume. a bottle. Perfume from Sambrag. Looks expensive too. Who's there? There. <laughs> so you Stop. managed to check it out, did you? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I, I had to have him shaved head because, you know, I tend to shave my head quite often. When I was 17. Don't eat me. I'll give you gut rot, I swear. Oh, to be 17 again. Stand back. I'll handle this. Well, that went well, didn't it? Enemy slain. <clears throat> Are you all right? 
I'm more than all right. I'm saved. Oh, I could kiss you. <coughs> Maybe you should introduce yourself first. I know I'm buying me dinner. Hervey, I knew it was you. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Oh, my little canary, it's been so long. Thank you for saving him and sparing him. Who is he? Hervey, kiss your bald head. One of many clients from my employment beyond the wall. There you go. One of many clients? <laughs> it. We spoke every night of our plans together. Whispered songs of la, 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 la. love into each other's ears. And then you upped and vanished without so much as a word. I left you a note, didn't I? I told you I left was you a note, didn't I? We could never be together. Oopa, I could never abandon my family. And I told you not to look for me. <coughs> How did you even find this place anyway? The flame of your love was as a beacon in the night that guided me to you. Hervey. <coughs> uh, I was walking by the coast near Northreach when I saw a lady who looked like you. Eyes like the ocean. Hair like the driven snow. The next moment, she and her companions were jumping in a skiff and sailing out towards the wave. So I, uh, borrowed the nearest boat and started rowing. It must have been Shula bringing us here. Reminds me of that prince so from um, you rode, Shrek. Found a nose <laughs> how many leagues across the bay, <laughs> simply because you saw a woman with white hair. And as I did, the skies changed from a dull and hopeless grey to a bright and benevolent blue. That was when I knew for certain that my little canary was close. What's he called from Shrek? Oh, why did you come? You should have forgotten me. As I, I think he was in Shrek you. 2 and 3, you only... <clears throat> I forgot his name now. Not leave my people, Hervey. Yeah, and that's the one. <laughs> now that you know about this place, neither can you. His fairy godmother is his mum. Mummy. My family's judgment. <clears throat> to meet your family. Oh, my little canary. <clears throat> Please, come and see me later. You did as I asked, and you must be rewarded for it. Oh, I. But first, follow me, Hervey. Ah, to the end of the world and beyond. I did. Uh, Jennifer Saunders, I think she's called. Don't blame yourself. I doubt anything could have kept that man away. La 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 la. I wonder if they're still going ahead with uh, the reboot of that. Apparently, they're rebooting Shrek, aren't they? They're either rebooting it or they're making another Shrek. Considering what happened at the end of um, Puss in Boots. <clears throat> Although I've never seen the Puss in Boots film, so. Mamma mia! Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. You two met at the Vale, I take it. When I worked there, yes. To earn the coin that my people need to survive. Harvey in boots. But though Mycidia is our Ooh. sanctuary, there are certain necessities that it cannot provide. Just the boots. And for that reason, some of us seek employment beyond the wall. Yet few are the opportunities... Fear me if you dare. ...faith in a strange land. H. <laughs> and so you supported your family as best you could. Harry! In boots? I have never regretted it for a moment. 
<laughs> I found a second family in the Vale, and in the Dame, a second mother. I also found Hervey. But our love could never be. I knew that if I revealed my secret to him, I would be putting my people in danger. But Nothing more. If I did not, I would be living a lie. Yep. Boots in the hat. To return home. <laughs> what will happen to him now? Since our people Harry. sailed in Mesidia, in boots? uninvited visitors have been few and <clears> far <throat> between, but not unknown. Explorers, survivors of shipwrecks, none lasted long. Do the helicopter! <laughs> that was before my time, you understand. I've never had to make a decision like this before. <clears throat> Nor that I do not blame you for any of this. It was me who decided to make the trip to shore. Me who exposed our secret. This was my mistake. What am I drinking? And I shall bear the responsibility. Thank you. I am brew. I only hope, I only beg you to remember that Hervé means us no ill will. He's just a fool. This is a fizzy drink. A fool who loves me. <coughs> I will take that into consideration. Yours is not the only voice I must listen to. I the whole do. family must be consulted. And it may take time for me to arrive at my decision. I hope you understand. Of course, tributary. However long it takes. Namaste. Come what may. <laughs> I thank you, my lord, for bringing us back together. Ding, 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 ding. Now be here. I left Hervey because I couldn't turn my back on my family. And now his life hangs in the balance. Just dice her. Dice her like yours. You'll be fine. <clears throat> Alright. Oh. everything all right ah you're the outsider i'm fanit healer by trade beg your pardon and this is Talor, one of my patients he took ill not long after you arrived nothing too serious i hope i hope so too but 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 this affliction it's like nothing i've ever seen before he complains of feeling chilled to the bone but there's no fever to go with it and my most powerful Antalgic hasn't done a thing to ease the pain in his chest. I'm starting to wonder if his condition might require a different kind of treatment altogether. Shula said that you were here to help us. You couldn't help me, could you? He needs a COVID jab. I'd be happy to, <clears throat> if I can. You can, don't worry. All I need you to do is speak to Talor's son, Pavat, over at the forge, and ask if he knows what his father was up to before he came down sick. Something must have caused this, and I want to find out what. The trouble is, Talor's too weak to speak, and I can't leave his side for long. So while you talk to Pavat, I'll pay his wife word a quick visit, just in case she knows anything. Right. Right. Oh, uh, do you need something? I do, though not from the forge. Fanit asked me to speak with you. She's looking into the cause of your father's illness and 
Wondered if you could shed any light on the matter. I see. Sorry. She shouldn't have dragged you into this. It's no trouble, really. Tell me, did your father do anything out of the ordinary before he fell ill? Not that I know of. But then I hardly see him. He's always out and about, like. Well, at least he was. Suppose he might have been a bit more... fidgety than usual, but apart from that... When you say out and about, where does he usually go? Just round the village. Wanders over to Blazia's place most days. He's a fisher who lives on the other side of the fount. Mm. They're old friends. Maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe. I'll go and speak with him. Yes. <clears throat> no. Till next time, then. Bye. Ding, 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 ding. Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you? Your name is Blazir, is it not? Pavard tells me you're a friend of his father's, and that the two of you may have spent some time together prior to his illness. His <coughs> illness? Talor's never been ill a day in his life. I don't know why he'd start now. Oh, Fanny doesn't know either. Because he's getting old. It was she who asked me to look into his recent behavior on the off chance it might explain how his condition arose. A reaction. Oh, uh, That's quite was, a few. <laughs> was, it was. It struck me as a bit odd. He kept asking about the woods. Did you see anything strange on your way back from Just the Just a tad. Are you Just a tad. Do you swear? That kind of thing. I, didn't, I did have a lot more, but I had to uh, delete them. <clears throat> it was like he was expecting something to happen. It was just a matter of when. Not that I know what. Oh, that's those rumours. Yeah. Well, that certainly does sound unusual. Yeah, it still still hits me. It might just be what still is hits me. For. Thank you. I don't mention it. Oh, and when you say to law, wish him the best from me. Yeah? Let's see what the healer makes of this. Wish him best from me. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah, I did have a whole lot more reactions, but I had to delete them because I was kicked off the um, like the YouTube program. I spoke with Worder, but she couldn't tell me anything. Did you have any better luck? Nothing conclusive, but there was one thing. Big hog and a box of tissues. Taken a sudden interest in the forest of late. He kept asking Meh, he indeed. Unusual there on his way back from the coast, but never let on what exactly he was expecting him to have seen. The forest between here and the coast. Aye, finally, Shut I am. Not. But then. <clears throat> uh, then. I can't see if it's took me a good few months because I did apply a few times, but if you um if you are declined, you have to wait a month before you can apply again. Small, oh Jesus! And you think they may have caused Talor's illness? I do, at least in a way. And if I'm right, it's no wonder the treatments I've been trying to work. God, <clears throat> oh, no, it's a lot to ask. But would you go down into Father's Fell for me? I mean, I was monetized for quite a long time, to be honest with you. It was only like a mm, couple of years ago. What is going on here? Please, when I was stopped, return, but time it took me a few applies again to finger, and I had to delete quite a few videos and stuff. <clears throat> Hence why I tend to do more streaming now and unboxings and whatnot. Things. Oh, I 
never should have let him go alone. Hail stranger. And once everyone left me in peace. Before we turned east at the shipwrecks to reach the coast. Now we must head in the opposite direction. Left it is then. They will all be this easy. If there's one thing I know about beastmen, is that they love to hide in the dark. Alone in the dark. <clears throat> the tomber is. The. What are they up to? Some sort of ritual. The Tombury King. <laughs> Hi. Sorry to disturb you. Three channels, jeez. Well, that took a lot of um, maintenance to do all three channels. Pressure online, boys. Beautiful, never backstab me, but yeah. I certainly post the guy you saw. My best friend. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Bloody hell. The bastards. Let's see what's on this altar then. <clears throat> what's that on this slab? A silver chain. I doubt the Tombrys made it. This must be what Fennet was talking about. This silver chain. Was it better than the dude? I'm not too bad at me and my wife. Whatever the hell, too is. Channel with Jade. Oh dear. Well, it seems as though you've been getting a lot of um, a lot of support and love on your channel that you got now, which is awesome. Trying try to make amends. Mm. A bit too fucking late after the damage already done. I found this silver chain. I did. This silver chain. 
I knew it. Well, I'm still none the wiser. Forgive me. This chain. It's a Gregorian Matronoster. <laughs> Worn by men of the faith. Hey, go What's on. it doing here? And why would the Tombrys be praying mm. to it? To understand that, you need to understand what the Tombrys are. They feed on <clears> hatred <throat> and suffering. And some say that if you render them an offering, some token of grievance against your fellow man, they will put a curse Well, if you him. come across anyone that don't like so you, I mean, don't lose sleep over it, you know what I mean? I, I can't say for sure. Especially when it comes to people online. I always assumed it was an old wives' tale. But given his fear of the forest and the presence of the chain on the altar, I, I don't know what else to think. Does Talor have any enemies in the village? Anyone who would nurse such a grudge? No. No, I believe the one who left the chain at the altar was Talor himself. I beg your pardon. But there's more to the tale, you see. It's said that if you attempt to curse a soul that has returned to the sea already, your ire has nowhere to go but back to its source. Mm. You're saying he cursed himself? In trying to curse another, I. When my father was younger, what an idiot. the few permitted to venture beyond the wall on trading expeditions. <clears throat> he told us that when he journeyed to Sandbreck, he'd wear that chain to disguise his true beliefs, lest... Grieger's faithful turn their cudgels on him. Did they ever catch him in his deception? Might that explain the ill will he bears someone? Not that he ever told me. Come now. Let's not waste time speculating about Talor's past. I uh, true, you all get to come across the odd one now and then. Finding a way to break the curse. All right. Mm. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thank you. I shall. Aye, and thanks for going to all this trouble. Here, it's not much, but I want you to have this. We call it an adder stone. It's a gatherer's charm. Reacts to certain rare minerals we use in crafting. Makes them ring out like a bell. Stuff you'd have no chance of spotting otherwise. If you find anything, see that you bring it back to me. I can make you some decent gear with it. If you... Interested, like, no, I'm not wrong in that. I am, thank not you. Wrong in that. And I'll be sure to pay you a visit. Until then, I wish your father a swift recovery. So you should, my friend. Serpent rings. <clears throat> including me. Including you. Including you, including me, oh. Um. Nah, you're not bringing me down. You're not bringing me down at all. Uh, I don't really have any rules, to be honest with you. Just keep everything nice and civil, you know. Popcorn.
Um, I forgot which one I fucking have now. No. I always keep it civil. <clears throat> what is it you want? I don't know. Ah, okay. Don't fucking have it anyway. <laughs> I don't believe. No sign of the child. You don't think he's. Alright, go this way. Tra la 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 la. Oh, I never should have let him go alone. Take me, what am I gonna do? Did you manage to do any streams today, You've Cosmo? Shula said you were a force to be reckoned with, are you? Uh, why do you ask? Hey? Oh, sorry, I should explain. My name's Kitav. I'm worried about a friend of mine. He went into the forest and he hasn't come back. Would you help me find him? <sighs> Fine. I can try. Tell me what I need to know. Of course. Uh, Cold. You know about the glamour our ancestors cast to keep this place hidden, right? Shula told us about it, yes. Right. So you know the cans we use to maintain the spell? Well, it's me and my friend's job to maintain them. If it weren't for the likes of us, it would have faded years ago. <clears throat> so your friend went into the forest to visit one of these cans? Aye, that's right. He said he was going down to Father's Fell. There are two cairns out that way, one by the banks of the Swift Run, and another near the Winged Wains. I know, I know. In the forest. <laughs> All right. How will I know this friend of yours? His name's Nasef. He's about my height, but clean-shaven. If you could track him down and see that he's come to no harm, I'd be much obliged. I'll search the village, just in case anyone's seen him, and meet you back here. Very well. In other words, I'll just stay over there. One came by the ships, another by the river. Better get moving. Better get moving, boy. Hail, stranger. Hail. A hack and slash. Ninja. Oh, hello. This is the mineral Pavar was talking about. The one that rings out like a bell. Oh, fancy. the can but no sign of Nasef to the riverbank then um, I suppose it takes place during because um, when you complete the main story it like saves just before the final battle.
我操！六六六六。Don't make me angry. La 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 level up. This one. Get him. Uh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, where do I need to go? I forgot. So through there, okay. There's a large gate nope. up ahead. Beyond it, a cluster of ancient ruins. The temple, or the air of powers as my people call it, can only be reached by passing through them. Okay. Ah, who have we here? Who have we here indeed? I'm looking for a man named Nasaf. Why? I know him. Why, are you man? Takes care of the cans. Wait. You didn't think I was him, did you? Sorry, mate. I'm just out to gym me sell a few Ibexes. Oh, what do you me. want the lad, anyway? Uh, uh, his friend, Katav, asked me to look for him. Apparently he ventured out to work on one of these cans. And didn't return. Well, that is a worry. You're a hunter, yes? You must know the woods as well as anyone. Can you think where he might have gone? Uh, there's a bridge further down the path. Blasted thing got washed away a few moons back. Our carpenter only recently had time to rebuild it. Mm. But if I remember <clears> rightly, <throat> there is another cairn on the far side. Maybe he decided to visit that one while he was here. Maybe... It's worth a look, certainly. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll keep an eye out, too. Perhaps he just got delayed or something. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Must be the bridge the hunter was talking about. Must be. What all? Ding, 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 ding.
Ow. Get it. Oh, thank you. Don't do it again. Uh, I'm the tributary's guest. <laughs> well, thank you. you I am to please. I am? But how do you know that? Your friend Katav asked I can read your mind. Ah. Uh, I was so focused on attuning the cairn, I didn't see those creatures come until it was too late. How exactly do they work? Oh, that there are crystals inside. They're what keeps the glamour going. Should the ether cease to flow through too many of them, our shroud would quickly unravel. It's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. And an important job it is. But you'll struggle to do it if you're dead. You need to take more care. Yeah, no arguments there. The truth is, me and Katav usually work together, watching each other's backs like. But when we heard outsiders were coming, we split up to get the job done faster, so things would be perfect for your arrival. <sighs> Stupid, I know. So you found him then? <laughs> Not before the local fauna did. Mm -hmm. My arrival seemed to put them off their dinner. <laughs> Mustn't have been hungry after all. Expect you'll be wanting someone to escort like you watching back. Harry's back. <laughs> Woods are full of nasties today. When you're next in Haven, be sure to come and see us. You saved my life. It's only right I repay you. If you insist. Take care now. Bye. Hey, they have done a good job. La 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 la. Company. Yeah, they, they do help, but you, you can't switch between them. What was that? Boing! 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 Found it! What was this place? An old settlement, we think. It was already long abandoned when my people arrived. Leviathan drowned it before it could be fully explored. Ah. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
The Robber Crab. Clag. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> It's just it's just a skin that they added in a update. <clears throat> Calm down, woman. Do, what weapon do I have? I have the Omega weapon. That's that's the main weapon I've got. Of it's just the Buster Sword skin. It does indeed. I think I got that from the uh, the last DLC. <laughs> Shine the light. I know I'm always tired. Hey. Hey. Stop it. What? Oh. Let's press on, shall we? Oh, I'm having having a shower under that. Yo, come closer. <laughs> Can I watch? <laughs> I won't walk, I promise. Do be do be do be. There. Oh, okay. They are leaving. Ding 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 
Kick it! What a ninja! Fast travel. Blimey, I mean, that's a lot of Final Fantasy. No, I've never, I've never played um, fifteen. Played a little bit of it. Nasev told me everything. If you hadn't got there when you did, oh, it doesn't bear <coughs> thinking about. The matter is that you're safe. Far be it from me to tell you how to do your job, but don't go alone again. Or if we have to, have to go we back should to talk it. about casting right. the glamour on ourselves okay. to keep the wildlife from spotting us. It'd take its toll, of course. Yeah, I haven't but played 15, I haven't played 14 because that's online. Um, to do that. <laughs> I haven't played the Pixel remasters. Two new piles of stone to the collection. Your bearers. And I haven't um That we are, thank the tides. Played 10 the too neither. To the crystals in the cairns the same way we can. Because friend of mine used to play it. Ah, right, okay. My apologies. Uh, you do this work condolences not because we're forced <laughs> no from what i've heard of the way things work on the outside we were truly blessed that our rain fell here in Mysidia. our people are few enough as it is if we started turning on each other kin against kin over nothing but a stupid accident of birth our days would be numbered they would anyway All's well that ends well, eh? Thanks to you, both yeah. of us live to keep this place not be a good idea. No, I'd do a, a stream of the game in his honour. That'd be cool. I think you'd probably get a lot of uh, support for that. <laughs> Lovely weather, isn't it? Another beautiful day under the glamour. The few crystals we can get hold of, we add to the cairns to keep the glamour from fading. And any left over, we give to Pavar. If you want to cry, you cry. Not that it stops a morning. Best to let it out. And what are you two drawing? <laughs> We didn't have much. <laughs> Do I own? Um... No, I don't actually know. This is all we can pay. It's all right, love. Royal Edition. Bastard things. Tore the fish right out of the baskets. 
I probably would get it, but considering with Square Enix games, they tend to like add block scenes in their games, don't they? And I've had a few issues with um, with them kind of games. It's like when I streamed uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, not Rebirth, uh, Remake, sorry. When I was streaming that, the entire final chapter was a blocked scene, so I couldn't, I couldn't stream it. So I had to end up recording it on my PC. Are you a rider by any chance? I am. What gave me away? Oh, I can smell it on you. The scent of the stables. And not just any stables. Something tells me you've never been one to ride half-starved birds with chine gall and wet beak. If I had a guess, I'd say oh, no, okay. a bird eats only the finest greens. Yeah, that's why I had to use a capture card. A with a curl hairbrush. I have one of them, um... <clears throat> Elgatos. Ambrosia, eh? Pretty name. Yeah, okay. What's she like? Well, she's... Unless it's um, unless it's a regional yeah, thing, I don't know. You're but joking. over here in the UK, it all blocked. But it could it could have been removed now. Yes. But you know, I suppose they are rather rare. This I've got to see. Can you bring her here? I would if I could, but I doubt Shula's skiff could hold her. Me dad's got a boat, and. He's very chocobos before. You could get him to bring out. Yeah, the matter done. The matter done. It'd be perfect timing and all. He's preparing. I know that the recently updated remake sure in you. time for uh, Rebirth to come out. Well, um, I think they changed some of the words in the final scene, so I don't know. All right then. Block scene is still an FF10 and FF10 too. Ah, but. I do have them games as well. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, block scenes should be scrapped. In my personal opinion, we buy the games. We give them the money. They should at least give us the opportunity to stream the games. You know what I mean? No. Hey, who? One of the outsiders, then. I am. Shula invited me. Are you Manda's father? Well, yeah. I am. <laughs> Got you running errands for her already, has she? I haven't said that. I did watch um, but I need your help and your PlayStation play. Access when they were streaming the original oh, Final Fantasy VII. Honestly. That with that particular scene with um, Aerith and Sephiroth the idea seriously at first. when they were playing that well, it came up with a notification that that scene still here. blocked help. And that wasn't that long ago really if you're sure that's what you want the tributary says where to treat you lot as we would each other so if you need me to ferry your bird over then that's what I'll do I know that's what I mean because still this capture cards and capture devices where you can just capture the gameplay anyway. So I don't see the point of them adding box scenes in the games. It's been years since I last brought a chocobo across the bay, and I'm told the world's changed a fair bit since then. Where do you usually get your stable supplies from? Well, the man who made Ambrosius tack lived in Martha's mm. Rest and yeah. <laughs> Joke. too. So I suppose I'll go and ask him. I'll be sailing over to Northreach soon to pick up some supplies. While I do that, you collect your bird and your gourd, and then meet me by the shore. Just don't take too long. It's like right? I was asked to uh, stream the uh, the Bioshock games because I'd never played them, so I ended up getting them. I had everything set up. Had the games installed and whatnot, and all three games was just block scenes throughout. 
even even when I got to the main menu, it was blocked, a blocked scene. I couldn't even stream the main menu of the games. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? Oh uh, dear. Speak to Rowan in Martha's Rest. Martha's Rest? Seriously? Okay, we'll go to Martha's Rest then. We've got a few rooms going spare now. You want a bed for the night? <laughs> I remember you. You're the one who saved Whiteheart. How's the old girl doing? She's very well. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. You're the one who Shut saved Mark. her. Anyway, Ma brings you to the rest today. I was hoping yeah, I think they've done the same with uh, the Kingdom Hearts games as well. And I thought you might be able to tell me where I could find <clears> one. <throat> oh, reckon I could do better than that. Just so happens... I've got a whole carload of the blasted things, not a buyer in sight. Really? Aye, you'd be doing me a favor taking a few off my hands before they turn to mush. But just be on the lookout for wild birds, eh? Don't want them chasing after you like they did me. <laughs> I will. Uh, yes, I think that's still on the channel. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, I think I've played the other one as well. Um, the Fractured like Butthole. These, I think they're on the channel. Together. We certainly do. Northridge, then. We'd want to keep Ender's father waiting. And it and continued. Playing a bit of stream, doing once again the trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I think my I think my game's still on the channel, but can't remember. Probably have. You look like you could do with a drink. When I was a little girl, my grandmother, I swore then. Blah 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 blah. blah. Put the wind right up. And thank goodness they did. Uh, I think so, yeah. Like being back in the glory days. Half of me wishes they hadn't left. Were well, you trying to dodge the uh, the balls? <laughs> they ain't exactly a bed of roses. And the alien probing bit as well. Zip. And that's just the start. You come back and visit, all right? Okay. It is a what funny game. What are you after? Yeah, it was all right for the, uh, Considering the game Much it is. Obliged. There you go. Much obliged. Thanks very much. There you go. Can't sell at that price. Bastard. Sorry. Why not? How much have I got? I need five grand. A fair trade. Shit, that's a lot. Damn it. Go on, then. Is that everything? Think so. I wanted one of those. A fair trade. I wanted one of those. A 
Fair trade. Is that everything? Uh, let's find out, shall we? Much obliged. Thanks very much. Much obliged. There you go. Thanks very much. Much obliged. Much obliged. Take care out there, eh? Take care out there, there. Eh? Where do I need to go? I have forgotten. Over there. <clears throat> Much obliged. And what can I do for you? And what can I do for you? And Nothing. A fine, fine day to you. And how might I help the garrison today? Those things didn't fight like men. Have you gotten any further with your um, Hogwarts? What the? Oi. Ah, there you are. And this must be Ambrosia, was it? Yes. Oh, she's a real beauty, isn't she? I have the mimic or two. Here. Thank you kindly. As soon as she's gobbled this up, we'll set sail. We're going to take a little trip across the bay now, Ambrosia. Don't worry. You'll be alright. Meow. Well, we made it. You did and all? <laughs> she is as white as snow. You're beautiful, aren't you, girl? Brave, too. She was calm as you like on the journey over. The mimic gourd will have played its part, of course, but passing through the walls enough to spook most birds even then. Not this one, though. Ambrosia's been through a lot. I doubt there's much that could unnerve her now. Not with a beloved master by her side. Why are you, man? No. It's you who looks after me, isn't it, girl? Hmm. Anyway, thanks for bringing her here. I hope I can breed a bird like her someday. And if you and Ambrosia need ferrying back to Northreach, you only need to say the word. Thank you. But I think we might explore Mysidia together. What do you say, Ambrosia? Quest complete! You can now summon Ambrosia. Notch. Oh, excuse me, what? Careful now! Oh, 
Because it is easy. is crawling with life most of it hungry which is why we make sure this gate stays shut and why you carry that impressive looking axe i presume <laughs> noticed her have you <laughs> uh. so let's leave it open the temple is up there don't worry those cliffs aren't the only way to the top. Oh. Damn, look, look at it. La 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 la. the ruins yes as far as we can tell they're part of the same complex as the temple itself to think of all the people who must once have lived here Because it is, I keep telling you that. Oh, hello.
Not L. Nowhere the house reset. Fuck you. Anything around here? <gasps> Kick it! and only Haven's blacksmith that has an appetite for these things.
Remind me of home. You're from the north, then? Yes. And no. I see. Explore everywhere first. Get out.
Do you see that cave up ahead? Mm -hmm. Whoever lived here carved a flight of stairs into the stone within. Away to the top. And whatever it is that awaits us there. Forgot. Oh. There is inside. Yes. You can see the spell's path from the nave. What's up, Jill? Is it? Probably nothing. We have a bad feeling. The spell was originally meant to be cast on Drake's eye, and this was the only place with an unbroken line of sight. <clears throat> Damn, look at that. <gasps> Tombury. The Tombury's like to think these ruins are their own. And they look really pleased to see us. Oh, okay. More? seem only to increase as if they were feeding off our suffering Kick it. Oh, is that the Tombury King? Ooh, could be. I think it is. Hi. Could this be their leader? Jay's angry.
Tomberry King. That could have been worse, I suppose. Mm. Aye, well, if the forest's taught me anything, it's that there's always something worse. Okay, which way? So, is that where we came in? Okay, isn't it? Kit. These things again. Come boy! Double check, yes. Do 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 Hello. Is that the knife? Just inside the dome, yes. But it's what's out here that worries me. Okay. Big empty space. It means there's gonna be a fight. <clears throat> Bear with me while I pour myself a drink. Da -da 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 -da
Hello. And there I was thinking they'd all migrated south. The weaker ones did. The weaker ones. No shit. Did you hear that, Sid? Right, oh. Now. <laughs> Damn it. This place. It's frozen. Just like the surge. Mm. Another of my ancestors' sins. Shall we? <laughs> the blue veil shows the extent of the spell's reach. And I can feel its ether from here. Wait. Before we cross the threshold, I'd like to know a little more about how these magics work. I assume we'll be safe from their influence. We won't grind to a halt, if that's what you mean. Mm. The spell only affects the things that were present at the moment it was cast. Yeah. But if we can enter, 
that means other things can as well. <sighs> like the ones we saw on the way here. And worse, probably. Damn. Is this Leviathan's doing? Well, it certainly wasn't ours. When he realized my ancestors were attempting to cast a spell from here, he made to destroy the temple. And almost did by the looks of it. All frozen in time. Excuse me, Toggle. Just want to double check. Music's cool. Kick it. Hello. Oh, shit. Surrounded. Over here. 
enemies. Something similar in my father's keep. The priests would deliver their sermons from the dais. Your father? Kick it. That's cool. angry Okay. Shout cool.
Here we go, people. <clears throat> it's just as I thought. Jill, does this ether not feel somehow... Familiar, yes. I sensed it the moment we arrived, though I wasn't sure until now. Mm. You can feel it too, can't you, Clive? She's calling us. You don't mean the witch? I do. Though she was more than that. Much more. She was a dominant. A dominant who once commanded the icon that now resides in both me and Clive. Of course. I don't know why I didn't see it. Who else would have the power to freeze time? None other than Shiva herself. But for her ether to endure after all these years, it, it's almost as if... Uh-oh. As if she shared it with another, just as Torgal shared in my ice. Hi. Right off. Oh, get out of it strong, isn't it? Oh, shit. We've angered it. Uh, why won't it yield? Uh oh. Second phase. Because it would sooner die than fail its mistress. Then it leaves us no choice. Come on, man. Oh. Oh, 
Shit. Ah, shit. Ah, you missed. <laughs> I like that. Holy shit. Ah. Fucking hell. Holy shit. Shit. Shit, miss. Lock it out. I'm fine. Shit. A bit. That was a cool battle. I enjoyed that. That was really cool. Now let's destroy it and put an end to this. Wait. The spell must be weakened, not undone. Uh, isn't that what we came here for? Did you ever stop to wonder what might happen to the tidal surge if I unraveled the whole spell at once? I well, yeah. So. <sighs> this is going to require a bit more finesse. From wind and light, water and earth, let the silent pall of my ice.
Oof. There's too much ether. <clears throat> Here. Let me help. Let us help. I hope that baby don't drop. I think so. <laughs> the thread connecting this place to the child should be broken. Meaning Walias should finally be. Oh fuck. Free once more. Oh, Ultima. Leviathan. Our most profaned fragment. Its divinity defiled by the hand of man. Its spirit shackled by his hubris till Muthos came, bringing release. Now, let the sins of man be redeemed by the hand of the servant of God. It's happening, isn't it? It is. What is? What's going on? <laughs> Precisely what we feared. The Viathan is out of control. No. <sighs> Don't despair. This isn't over yet. You should head back to the village and get everyone to higher ground. As for the rest, the rest, your freed will handle. So, Jovi. Right, oh. <clears throat> We're going to fight Leviathan, are we now? <laughs> I can't let it end like this, Wallis. It's time for you to come home. <clears throat> oh, look at the rain. Holy shit. Really?
La 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 level up. And then Stop it. Come on then. No more hiding. <sighs> oh. is <clears throat> This isn't what I wanted. I only hope you can forgive me. Do this, bruh. Get off me. <laughs> oh shit. Water and fire don't mix.
Where have you gone? Oh. Shit. Get back here, oh wow.
good. Really? Come on, you bastard. You fucker. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> can do it. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker. I could do it in one try. <laughs>
Dang it, you bastard! Help. Was a fucking waste. a fucking epic fight man
Grab it quick. Grab the baby. Just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Well, yes. Oh, your goo. There's your goo. <laughs> there. <clears throat> He's finally asleep. The poor thing had a long day. That makes two of us. So, what happens now? Now? <laughs> now, we make things right. How? By providing Walias what he was denied. A place to learn and grow. A family to love and protect him. So that one day, when the wounds in his heart and mind have finally healed, he might decide for himself how he'd like to live the rest of his life. But until then, I'll stay by his side, come what may. Then he's a lucky boy. And not only because he'll have the best warrior this side of the belt to teach him the battle axe. Hm. She'll do her best. Shula. The beast that threatened your home is tamed. The empire that threatened your people toppled. Might it not be time to cast off your ancestors' glamour and retake your place in the twins? Perhaps. It's not as if we have the crystals to maintain the wall much longer. But are we truly safe? Is the world truly ready to accept <clears throat> us for who we are and what we believe? If I remember rightly, you and yours still choose to remain hidden, do you not? We do. True, true. Well, your people will always be welcome in Haven, regardless. As will yours in the hideaway. We're allies now. If there's anything you need from us, supplies, food, equipment, do not hesitate to ask. It's kind of you to offer. But we'll manage, just as we always have. Besides, I suspect you'll be needing everything at your disposal if you're going to save the world. <laughs> I fear much of it is past saving. 
The best we can do is strive to turn what's left into a world where we can all live as equals. A noble endeavor. And there'll be a place in this world for us, will there? For Walias. For everyone. I swear it. Then we shall be waiting. Until the tides bear you back to shore. Namaste. <clears throat> Quest complete. Do you think he'll be all right? Well, yes. Only time will tell. But I can certainly think of worse places to spend one's childhood. The moats of water are a fine people, and they will take good care of him. Up by the Vare, Ultima spoke to me. She called Leviathan his most profane fragment, and told me to redeem the sins that had laid him low. Is that so? The sins of Walius's ancestors were grave indeed. To force him to prime at so tender an age. And to freeze him in time. That he might never know what it was to live. Yet I doubt either of those crimes was the source of Ultima's displeasure. It was that the Icon's power had been put to another purpose than the one he intended. To him, Leviathan must have seemed an aberration. Could that be why Ultima made no attempt to lead me to him? The fear that this profane fragment might corrupt his vessel somehow? Perhaps. Or perhaps he simply deemed Leviathan surplus to requirements. Having concluded that his vessel might be made to serve his purposes without the full sum of his power. His purposes? There's no escaping them. Even here. Hidden away in Mesidia, the blessing of the crystals proved nothing but a prison. A prison into which Walius was born. And from which freedom is hard won. If the world doesn't change. If we don't change it. He'll end up suffering the same fate as every dominant who came before him. Then we must change it. That we must. And we shall. Sense the light, please, and yes, if I can acquire to answer. Okay. Trophy! Still more quests. It is good to have them back. What is it you want? Tied to you. Yes? Done. Well, that do ya? Mm. Mm. My friend, I have news. When you've decided what you want, just let me know. 
Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Of course I do. May it serve you well. Then I bid you good tide. What do I need from that again? What is it you want? Notch tang and alidium. Medium membrane. <clears throat> this, this is all we have. found a way to break to law's curse go on well after listening to the village elders and scouring every likely looking tome in the library i learned that not all tombries are the same little green menaces we know and loathe apparently a chosen few live to incredible ages and grow to many times the size of their counterparts oh the king king the folk tales hold that it's the very eldest of these, the Tombury Kings, yeah. who weave the curses, and that their magics bind their victims to them, that they may continue to feed on their pain. So if we slay the one that cast the curse, the feeding will cease. But that was my thinking, yes. Though I doubt it'll be easy. These kings are not just bigger, they're stronger too. And if the tales are true... Their followers will defend them to the death. It is a perilous proposition, in short. But it may also be to Law's only hope. What say you? Go on, then. We'll do it. Even if killing this king doesn't break the curse, the city will be a safer place for its removal. Thank you. So then, where will I find it? That, alas, I do not know. It must have woven the curse at the altar in Father's Fell, but as to where it is now. Fanet, you were the one asking about Tonbreeze, right? Because there's a whole bloody army of them out on the cloak. What? <laughs> but, but why would this stray so far? And why now? There's only one way to find out. I'll head up the mountain and see what's going on. Right. Thank you. And please, be careful. Ooh, this should be fun. Let's see what the Tombury King looks like in this game. Hey! <laughs> By Haven, some time at least. Clive, are you all right? 
Fine. We've taken care of the immediate threat. <sighs> Thank the tides. I was worried I was going to lose you both. Till all he... Oh, he took a sudden turn for the worse just after you left. What? Is he... No, he's hanging on. I fear the Tombury King may have begun the cursing ritual again. In earnest this time. And I can't imagine their being here as a coincidence. I think it might be happening on this very mountain. If it is, it won't be for long. Get back to Talor. I'm going up. My thanks. I shall pray for both of you. Let's go. More of them. Come on then. I crave an audience with your king. Yeah. Oh king. Another group. They don't look very regal. <clears throat> okay. I'll do Josh. How you doing, laddie? Too bad, not too bad. I have been wrong. Really enjoying this DLC though. It's fucking awesome. Uh, there's dozens of them. The king must be close. The king must be close. We'll have to take care of his followers first. This one. Fuck, I flee. <clears throat> We're just on the search for the Tomberry King. <sighs> Looks like that's the last of them. Out here, anyway. <laughs> ah, the so that's the that. do like dark places. So that's the yeah, the cave. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish this DLC. Well, I'll be 
Hello, Tonberry King. Yeah, I, um, I decided to get them all. <laughs> As a crown. Sorry, Your Majesty, but your reign ends here. Whoa. Fucking hell, it'll just disappear. Woohoo! <laughs> I. Well, it's not, it's not. Yeah, I believe so. It might be a laugh to stream, I suppose. Oh, missed. Tomber King don't fuck around. I say me. Whoa. No, they don't. Yeah, this Tombury King does not know it's about. Oh, go on, boy. <laughs> Bye-bye. It's done. Which means the curse should be broken. Let's see how Talor's doing. Clyde!
leave? Is it done then? It is. I was going to ask if there had been any change in Talor's condition, but judging by that smile on your face, I think I already know the answer. You do? Talor! He's back! Thank you, my lord. I can Got never repay life. you for everything you've done for me. Once in peace, I owe you my life. <laughs> I'm just glad the curse is lifted. <laughs> There is. All right, things you gotta do, eh? I'd things like you gotta do. If you don't mind my asking, what made you seek the Tombrey's help in the first place? You feel any better? Oh, that. Well, <clears throat> ah, you deserve to know. It was years ago now, back in my trading days. The sons of Grieger arrested me in Oriflam, chained me up in a lightless cell with a great sword hung over my head, ready to fall if I didn't confess. But they never said to what. I didn't, of course. So eventually they just let me go. And I never told a soul. Mm. Tried to forget it ever happened. But then you came along and the sight of your sword brought it all flooding back. So the peace and quiet's over now. <laughs> I could not hardly breathe. I thought that if I my old friend to the Tombrys, maybe, maybe <clears> they could take all that pain away. All that anger. But it only made it worse. Oriflam has fallen. And the men who tortured you likely fell with it. <laughs> if only I'd known, I might have spared everyone a lot of trouble. I'd convinced myself that you were like them. That all outsiders were the same, but... You're not. Far yeah. from it. Thank you, son. Aren't they my oak? Namaste. Now that was a cool version of the Tomberry King. I, I like that. That was nice. That's cool. Clive, there's something I need to tell you. After we parted ways on the path to the cloak, I went straight back to Talor and explained to him what you were doing on his behalf. And just like that, his pain began to fade. What do you mean, just like that? The Tombury King would have still been alive. I had to contend with dozens of his minions before I found him. Mm -hmm. Then, perhaps one of them warned him of your coming and he broke off his ritual? Or, perhaps, perhaps knowing that an outsider was fighting for him was what lifted the weight from Talor's heart. I know, from experience, that many illnesses are not wholly physical, but of the spirit, at least in part. Was there ever really a curse, then? Or was Talor simply suffering from the pain of his memories? the guilt of what he'd done for all the difference it makes I suppose we'll never know maybe not but this much I do know it was your strength and your selflessness that healed his heart in the end <laughs> I'll be mm. sure to tell my healer friend when I get home <clears throat> quest complete Just need to find out when we can actually pre the damn thing. Converting slowly but surely. <clears throat> what is it you want? Uh, probably not much. that do you? Yes, thank you. Done. A good time to you. I know I want Jedi power battles, boy. This, this is all we have. Well, uh, if you
you sure you need it? Of course I do. I want to buy it with a wise woman. Well, let's hope so, shall we? Here, mister, over here! Please, mister, you've got to help us. The village is in danger, and if someone doesn't do something... Oh, you should have seen it! Stop. Take a deep breath, and tell me everything. Starting with your name. Sorry. My name's Eric. When you went up to the air of hours with Miss Shula, I... Well, I followed you. <sighs> you could have been killed. Lady Shula told us you lot were great warriors. So I thought I'd be alright if I stayed close like. But then, I lost track of you. Stay close like? That's when I saw it. Saw what? A great, big, dripping, twirling monster. <clears throat> Spin out great spots of water it was. That would turn up the um, honestly, I can't trees. remember because when of water. the f when the uh, first one like was announced, you can get them, you could get them both at the same it. time. So I ended up getting them both. You'll get rid of it, won't you? <clears throat> right. If this creature is as terrible as you claim, it could well pose a threat to the village. I'll see what I can do. But this, this is definitely it. worth it. Definitely worth it. It was over by the swift one that I saw it. Maybe it's still there. Then that's where I'll start my search. But this time, you're going to stay here. Understood. I mean, the Ooh, first one was only a couple of hours or so. Not with that thing out there. But I think I've started streaming this no, no. since around nine ish. Search base near the twins. Da, 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 da. Is that the hunter? Hello. It's you, ah, Nasser's savior. Are you all right? What happened? I was tracking an ibex when a great spout of water struck me square in the back, sent me flying all the way across the clearing. Did you see what made it? No. All I heard was a noise. Ah, indeed. In. Well, started around nine ish, and it is now nearly twenty past two. <laughs> Might this be the culprit? Leave him to us. <clears throat> Hello. You've caused enough trouble. This one. Nope. Yeah, I've been off for the week, so I'm not back in now till Monday. to the village but you can't blame the boy for being scared <laughs> you made that look a lot easier than it was do you think that was the beast which attacked you that thing 
Warehouse. Would have heard it coming a league away. And the blast of water that hit me was beyond anything an Archelon can manage. Oh. A boy from the village sent me in search of a beast that could conjure such things, but... That's it. That's the noise I heard. Uh -oh. Sounded like it came from the ruins. I'll go. You head back to Haven and see a healer. Been busy. <laughs> Fair enough. This creature no worries, Josh. Blood. You go get some sleep now. But it's not having ours. Stay close, Toggle. I not. Thank you. Where I will. Where are you? Where are you? Fucking die already.
Fingers crossed that's the last of them. Either way, I should let Irek know the danger is past. For now, at least. Hmm. Let me just get this first. Thank you. times do we have to tell you? You're not to go out into the woods alone. Well, you're back. <sighs> so? Did you find the fiend that attacked me and young Eirik here? I did. It won't be troubling you anymore. Yes! I knew you'd get it. Only because you warned me of its existence. Mm -hmm. Not that you should ever have learned of its existence, but... All's well that ends well, I suppose. What was it, anyway? A manifestation of Leviathan's power. When we visited Wallius in the Surge, he was... angry and afraid. The Icon summoned these creatures for his protection. Though why one would be wandering the ruins of Riversmeet, I don't know. Maybe it was looking for his mom. That's why she died, isn't it? The falls. Uh... I, when they took her baby, she threw herself off the top. We go there once a year to pay our respects. The whole village. Hmm. An eggy is a part of its master's spirit, but Wallius wouldn't have been aware of what had happened to his mother, would he? Well, either way, you did us a favor putting that thing to rest. Us and Walius. Thank you. Aye. <laughs> Thanks, mister. So sorry for all the trouble I've gone to. Reckon my steel's just as good as any. Don't have enough. Hmm. Mm. Might I have a moment of your time? I would beg of you a service. Certainly. What is it? It's a long story. But before we get to that, would I be right in thinking Lady Shula told you about the witch from the north? Yes. She said that your ancestors found her here, and that it was she who taught them the spell to stop time. She was like Wallius, you know. A dominant. The Warden of Ice. My great-grandmother suspected as much. She cared for the poor woman when the end was near. And it was she whose duty became to attend her grave. A duty that was passed down to me. I see. And the service you would beg of me? Well, until recently, the path to the grave had long been blocked by a fallen tree. <coughs> but when our woodsmen finally found time to move it, we quickly realized it might have been better had they not. Uh, okay. On trying to clear the rest of the path, you see, we discovered that a flock of bloodthirsty beasts had claimed the cliffs beyond. None of us was a match for them. But you, my lord, have proven your strength many times over. Would you drive them away for us? Of course. I'll see the path is made safe. Thank you, my lord. The grave is in a place called Witch Drop. To reach it, one must turn left at the Winged Wains, then follow the path around to the right, deep into the forest. Why so far from Haven? It was where she lived. When our ancestors first came to Missidia, they found her there, in an old abandoned village. And it was her heartfelt wish to return there in death. 
So when she passed away, my great-grandmother had a stone erected for her on the cliffs overlooking the place she once called home. How thoughtful. Well then, no time like the present. Left at the ships, then round to the right, you said. Just so. Thank you once again, my lord. I will join you at the grave anon. Right all. Wrong way. This should be the path to which drop. Hungry toggle. Welcoming party. Looks like that's the last of them. Now, where's the grave? Over there. This must be it. My lord. Thank you for making the path safe again. Ize. Was that her name? Yes. Hardly the most fitting tribute for a dominant, is it? A rough-hewn stone with naught but a given name engraved on it. But my ancestors had only been here a matter of weeks when she passed. Every day was a struggle to survive. They had neither the time nor the energy to devote to a more elaborate memorial. Yet they spared what they could to grant her wish, that even in death she might continue to watch over her home. She lived down there then, in the ruins. That's right. They were once the living quarters for those who served up in the temple. 
When the Northern Thanes sent her here to weave her spell, this was where she and her retinue stayed. There were priests, handmaidens, and a knight sworn to shield her from harm. Of course, they were all gone by the time my ancestors arrived, fled or dead in the Western Wars. All except his A, who remained till the end, alone. Indeed. At least, that is the story as it's been handed down in Haven. But there is an epilogue to the tale. One known only to Lady Shula and myself. Some years after Issei's passing, you see, my grandmother came here to tend the grave and found a stranger kneeling before it. A knight, dressed head to toe in plate. She asked of him who he was and whence he had come, but received no answer. The only words he spoke were, tell me true, whose grave is this? So she told him of how her people had met and cared for Issei, and how she had died. His only reaction was to stare up at the air of ours in silence. Then he left, never to be seen again. You said he was wearing plate. Was it black and gold? Do you know something? <laughs> When we went up to the Air of Hours to unravel the spell, we were set upon by a shade in the shape of a knight in full plate. It manifested in front of the Vare, and in its ether, I felt Shiva, the witch. You think this may have been the same man my great-grandmother met? He says knight. I don't know. Maybe. All I can say for sure is it was intent on protecting her creation. Or perhaps her spirit. What remained of her ether, preserved in the Vare. Perhaps his spirit too became enraveled in her spell. Frozen in an eternal vigil. Till we ended it. If the shade you fought was Issei's knight, then ending it was the greatest gift you could have given him. Now he can return to the sea, to be with his lady once more. And if his spirit should ever return here to visit her grave, I shall ask his name, that I might carve it in the stone next to hers. That they might be together, once and for all. Maybe. Thank you, my lord, for reuniting them. Namaste. Yes. Last quest now. You wouldn't happen to have some time on your hands, would you, Clive? Only I was wondering if you might help me with something else. Don't tell me. Another unruly dominant. Not quite, <laughs> but a dangerous foe nonetheless. It promises to be quite a hunt. Care to join me? All right. Tell me about our quarry. A fiendish, cold blooded <clears throat> beast known as a Givra. Normally, we leave such animals well alone, and for good reason. But I have an even better reason to want its tongue. It, its tongue? If you'll permit me, tributary, I can explain. 
Certainly, Yamila. It's been over a week since my sister gave birth to her first child, yet she still isn't back on her feet. We've tried everything to restore her spirits, physics and nostrums, the laying on of hands and of leeches, but all to no avail. The healers tell me there's only one hope left. A broth as potent as its ingredients are perilous to procure. It isn't only Yamila's sister who stands to benefit from this, by the way. There's her baby to think of, and Walias, too. She'd agreed to be his wet nurse, you see. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Our hunters have no shortage of skill, but this task calls for more than that. And it won't be achieved through weight of numbers, either. The Giver is as wary a foe as it is a deadly one. Two hunters might catch it unawares, but any more than that, and it would pick up our scent a league away. Then it is decided. The two of you will go, while Jill and I occupy ourselves here. Perhaps we might help prepare the broth. That would be most kind of you. Come then, Clive. The river of time flows fast, and so must we. There's a giver that has claimed the ruins at the foot of the mountain as its hunting ground. But as I say, they are wary creatures. We'll need suitable bait to draw it out. The flesh of a forest ibex should suffice. To the forest, then. To the forest. There's nothing a giver loves more than a fat haunch of ibex. There speaks the voice of experience. Do you hunt often? Since I was a girl, my father would take me. Then after he returned to the sea, Yamila's father. Our families have always been close. Even if her sister wasn't Walius's wet nurse, I couldn't stand by and watch her suffer. Sorry. Be nice and cooked. Turn to the sea, and to the clouds rise again. We have our bait then. What next? Next we pay a visit to the dark gate to pick some local weed. It'll help disguise our scent. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there should be a sprig or two of local weed growing somewhere around here. Look for the golden leaves.
Ah. Oh. Fall Is this it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, that's the stuff. Crush the leaves between your fingertips and rub them on your clothes. Uh, if you insist. You could have warned me about the smell. Like corruption, isn't it? We'll have an honor guard of flies before long. But it'll stop the Gavra from noticing us. Its nose will tell it we're nothing but a feast for worms. Oh, I feel so much better. We can wash it off afterwards. If there's one good thing about the Gavra choosing the ruins for its hunting ground, it's that there's plenty of fresh water nearby. Go there. Where should we lay the meat? <clears throat> Gavers are creatures of habit. Look for some sign of its passing. It's sure to return to the same place sooner or later. These look like a predator's tracks. You can clearly make out the claws. But not just any claws. These belong to a Givra. There's no mistaking them. We'll lay the bait here. Let's hope our friend is hungry. Five hours later. Still no sign. Patience, Clive. Hunting's not something you can rush. Have you stalked these beasts before? Once. Gavers are fast, so the job called for a bearer. But even with my knack, it was a close-run thing. Not many leaders would take such risks for their people. Says the man who battled an icon to save a boy he barely knew. <laughs> it is the way of the Mots of Water to use what gifts we've been given for the good of all. And I gather it's your way too. <clears throat> it was Sitz, the man whose name I bear. He fought for his people and their future with every fibre of his being. And I'm just following in his footsteps. In many ways... You remind me of him. Me? You're confusing daring with desperation. Quiet. Something's coming. Our guest has finally arrived. Shall we greet him? It'd be rude not to. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hello. Don't let it escape.
Get it. You weren't exaggerating when you said they were dangerous. They're forces of nature, all right. And with this one's passing, the river of life has calmed. Excuse me while I take your tongue. O oh, roaring torrent, son of storms, may your spirit run free in the open ocean. This flesh I claim, that your gifts might rain down upon us this day, and our river flow in spate once more. <clears throat> well then, let's return to the village. We must get this tongue to your miller before it spoils. Okay. Proceed as planned? It did. Here. Yeah. One giver tongue. As promised. Oh, thank you. I shall add it to the broth at once. By your leave, tributary. If there is anything else that we can do to help, you need only ask. Oh, no. No, you've already done more for my family than I can ever repay. Just as you have, Clive, for my family. I only regret that I have nothing to offer you in return but my gratitude. It's more than enough. Besides, I'm no less grateful to you. For what? For welcoming my friends and I into your midst. For showing us how your people live. <laughs> For reminding me that the world we strive to create, where bearers can live alongside their fellow men in peace and comfort, is no mere fantasy. I'd hardly call it comfort. <laughs> Every day is a struggle. Though we do at least struggle together, it's true. As must we all. I only ask that you remember the cost of using your gifts as a bearer. I know that you feel it's your duty to do whatever you can to help your people. But you have a child to think about now. And Wallace has lost enough. I shall bear that in mind. That's all I ask. Oh, and if there is anything else that we can do to help, well, you know. Thank you. Truly. Trophy.
Got another quest. Go oh, blimey. It is good to have them back. No, it has to be who. What has to be who? If you uh, don't mind my asking. It's not your asking, I mind. It's my explaining. But I don't see any other way around it. You see, when a baby is born here, we hold a ceremony to welcome them. The rite of immersion, we call it. But I don't know whether Wallius was ever afforded that courtesy. What is abundantly clear, though, is that my ancestors never welcomed him as one of us. And I want to change that. The problem is, the ceremony requires three ministrators. The baby's parents and a witness. Mm. As tributary, the role of witness would normally fall to me. But being Wallace's closest living relative, I must play the role of mother. So you want me to serve as witness in your stead? That's right. A witness must be a trusty guardian, ready to steer the child through the stormy waters of life and on to tranquility. Which is why I thought of you. It would be my honor. Thank you, Clive. So, if you will serve as mother and I as witness, who will take on the father's role? I have a younger brother. He should be making ready for the right as we speak, though whether he is or not. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce you. Please do. If he's anything like his sister, I'm sure we'll get on famously. I'll bid him come to the Witten Hall. Will you wait for us there? Gladly. <clears throat> Fine. Yes? Damn, boy. A good tie to you. Clive, my brother. Oh, excuse me. If it isn't my old mate, Sid. Oh, no way. You. So you do remember me, even stripped of my cunning disguise. I'm mm, touched. Mm, mm, mm. You two know each other. My friends and I crossed paths with your brother on our hunt for the Dusk Crystals. During which we saved his life. Three times, was it? Zip. Three? Four? Who's counting? All I know is when Shula mentioned she'd called in Sid the Outlaw to help young Walias, I could be sure that the little rascal was in safe hands. I mean, having seen you in action back at the tower, <coughs> I know exactly what you're capable of. So the mercenary you met in the Sage Spire, that was Clive. And he saved your life. That's a rather different story from the one you told me. <laughs> and a far likelier one at that. It would appear my family owe you twice over. Whether they admit it or not. Honestly, Fammy, would it kill you to tell the truth once in a while? Yeah. What? I said sorry, didn't I? How about we save the uh, recriminations until after the ceremony, eh? Speaking of which... What does this ceremony involve exactly? It's simple, really. We each say a short prayer and anoint the child's head with holy water. Nothing too onerous, then. Not about the rite itself, no. But it does call for some preparation. One of the witnesses' responsibilities is to collect the holy water, you see. Three files for the three ministrators, each taken from a particular place. Don't worry, though. It's not as if you have to go alone. 
I can show you the way. I'd appreciate that. Mm. Famiel, you stay here and ready the Witten Hall. Leave it to me. If there's anything Jill and I can do to assist you, we'd be glad to help. Thank you both. <laughs> All right then, let's get started, shall we? There are three types of holy water that we must collect. The water of the mountain, of the river, and of the sea. We take the water of the mountain from the spring atop Maiden's March. The water of the river from the course that flows through the ruins of Rivers Meat. And the water of the sea from the shallows of Tailwind Bay. Here are the files we'll be using in the ceremony. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Uh, come on then. So it'll have to be all the way around, eh?
Is anyone hurt? Oh, Sid! Thank all the clouds in the heavens you came! You saved us! Again! <coughs> Would you two care to explain what you're doing up here? The chief sent us to fetch incense for the ceremony. So the Witten Hall smells nice for the little Ben. <coughs> You mean to tell me you braved this den of deadly beasts for some tree sap? You don't have to do everything he says, you know. Or if you must, at least have the good sense to ask one of our hunters to accompany you. We're sorry. It's fine. Just go back to the village before you get yourselves into any more trouble. <laughs> right you are. Oh, and there. Uh... Thanks and that. Remind me to give my brother a cuff round the ear when we get back. <coughs> right then. Let's collect this water, shall we? The rain that falls on the mountain emerges here, in these springs. The source of the river. The source of life. Precisely. Take care not to spill it. Right. <laughs> Let's save that for the ceremony. We can collect the water of the river from here. All right. The water of the river represents life. It is constantly moving, constantly changing. And though its course may twist and turn or branch into a thousand separate streams, it always flows in the same direction, from source to sea, beginning to end. Like time. What of Wallius then? When your ancestors froze him, did they remove him from the river of life? They did. The river of like life. A pool that didn't thaw for eighty summers. <clears throat> but now he's free to flow again, to live. And you and I shall flow with him. For we are all but drops of water in the great river of life. I find that thought oddly reassuring. Mm. Go on. A drop of water might seem insignificant on its own. But as a part of a torrent, it can cleave a path through the hardest rock. It makes me believe we humans might just stand a chance. I believe we might. One more file to go then. Nearly done. <laughs> nearly done, nearly done.
Oh, it's from that blocked path. This path leads down to the coast. Usually we keep this gate shut tight, but since this is a special occasion... Thank the tides, the weather held. This place can be treacherous when the waves are high. If it weren't for the holy water, no one would ever come down here. I'll be sure to watch my step. Water flows to the sea, then rises into the clouds. Just like life, the end is not the end. Only a new beginning. My ancestors chose this place because it was where the first boat landed. Then it's a good thing they didn't land closer to the surge. Quite. I still can't help but be awed by it. Oh? All that wave ever made me feel was pity and sorrow for the innocent life trapped inside it. The child my great-grandfather sacrificed to try to change his people's fate. It was wrong. An unforgivable sin. But I often wonder, will my descendants ever forgive me for what I have done? As tributary, I faced many difficult choices. And though I've always striven to do what's best for my people, here we live in poverty, hidden away from the world. So have my choices denied them a better life, just as my ancestors denied Walius his. No. You would not forcibly sacrifice one of your people to save the others. You do the best you can for all of them, as do I. We share in their woes, just as we share in their joys. And the most we can do is try to bring them more of the latter. Aye, you're right. And try I shall to bring all of my people a better tomorrow. Walius included. <laughs> then I wish you luck. If my time with the boy is any indication, 
He's going to be quite a handful. <laughs> then we must start as we mean to go on and give him the very best welcome we can. Where to next then? Back to the village to find out if my brother has made the necessary preparations or got his lackeys to do it for him. We have the holy water. Is everything else in place? All ready to go. Told you you could count on me. Then let us begin. Famiel, have your men summon everyone to the Witten Hall. Right you are. Uh, Ashula, wait. I don't know the words. Don't worry. There aren't many of them. We'll have time enough to practice before people arrive. I should give you some bubble. My friends, we are gathered here today to welcome this child into our community by the right of immersion, as has been our custom since the first reign. As tributary, I would normally perform the rite with the child's parents, but Walius's mother and father returned to the sea long ago. So I <coughs> and my brother Famiel shall serve as his family while the one who returned him to us shall bear witness in my stead. Clive, if you would step forward. <coughs> Bit of a shame, Clive's story doesn't end well. Falls on the mountain's door, are we born? <laughs> what the deuce? Like the river that flows through the valleys below, do we live? Stop doing that. Like the boundless sea, where the currents run free, do we die? And do the clouds then rise again? <laughs> Uncle Clive. The circle of water is the circle of life. Circle and today, of life. The heavens falls rain anew. This child, Walius, now joins our stream, and he shall flow with us from the mountains to the sea. <sighs> <laughs> you played your part to a tea, Clive. Thank you. Why are you meant a lot to us? I was honored to be asked. And terrified I'd miss. <laughs> now that you're part of the family, young Walyas, my lad. 
Uncle Samuel can teach you the ways of the world. <laughs> oh no, he can't. Eh? <laughs> Don't be so hasty. Your brother's knack for self-preservation might serve him well. <clears throat> ah, you are never going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> I'm going to raise Wallius as if he were my own. Teach him everything I know about life, our people, and our past. But with all the mother crystals gone, he will grow up in a world without comforts. One where we only have ourselves and each other to rely on. I'd say your people are better prepared than most to survive in such a world, Shula. To thrive, indeed. Under your guidance. Only if nature continues to smile on us. If we were to lose her gifts, we'd be left with nothing at all. Yes. But it needn't come to that. Not if we can stop the spread of the blight. <clears throat> so long as we can save a single patch of soil, we can plant the seeds for a new world. One where we can all be free. Perhaps then we might finally be able to step out from behind our curtain, eh? Till that day comes, I wish you good tide. Thank you. We should be on our way. Well, you be careful out there. Aye, you steer clear of trouble now. <laughs> Likewise. Must be the first outsiders to have witnessed that right in over a century. Wallius has been waiting for it for nearly as long. <laughs> he seemed pleased to be finally rejoining the family. Now all we have to do is save that family. To change our river's course. Mm. Wallius is asleep. Meeting every one of your friends and relatives in the space of a single day is enough to tire anyone out. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, oh yes, is a little oh. soon. What is it you want? Till next time, then. Charge you. Here you are. Very well. Right, you. Go to the hideaway. again how may I help you today I have the details here 
Study it well, Clive. Thus ends today's lesson. <coughs> There's something about it. There's something about it. Clive. Karen. If you're gonna buy something, be quick about it. Yo. Good morrow to you, my friend. Hmm. In short. <laughs> if you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. You are always welcome, Clive. Thank you. So, oh, no. not again. Ours, and now it is yours. Consider it a gift from us to you, a taste of things to come. Mm. You still think I'm going to be your vessel? <sighs> Take your gift then, Ultima. 
Just don't expect it back. <laughs> Portion of Ultima's essence, eh? You hear me? I will never be yours. Whoa. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Mm. Cool. <clears throat> that was fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here.
Damn. Give me. Oh, 7,000. Really? Oh, that's a shame. That would have been cool. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, what an amazing DLC. That's probably one of my favourite DLCs I've played. Yeah. Absolutely love that. But yeah, they definitely added more to this. Definitely added a whole lot more. Plus they've added a few quests in it as well. But yeah, the bosses. Awesome. Awesome bosses. And we got to experience a few more icons, including Ultima, which is pretty sweet. So, that shadow of a doubt. This is a definitely worth picking up if you still haven't played Final Fantasy 16 yet I do highly recommend and I do highly recommend giving the DLCs a whirl as well but yeah the Rising Tide absolutely Mwah. a delight to play an absolute delight but yeah a nice um, end for Final Fantasy 16 I don't think there's going to be any more DLCs for this. I think there's only been these two. So, uh, yeah. Hats off for the developers of this game for making this. Especially the DLCs and especially the Rising Tide. Absolutely love that DLC. So, yeah. I am going to leave it here. So, I do hope you have enjoyed. So, feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Be sure to give us a follow on the socials. And you know what to do to help support the channel. So, yeah, I'm off to bed. So, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed, guys, as much as. See you soon with a new video.